how do you get out of the movie? Why would you want to? Why would you want to be in a movie? Howdy, folks! Welcome I'm back to you, me, and the movies! Ah, I'm the last action hero! Yeah, you are. It's time for Arnold. Are you ready? <laughs> that was so intense. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that attack. <laughs> You're never prepared. Ever. Oh, I'm excited now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Arnold movies. Is it really? Yeah, because he's the last action hero. Have you seen this before? Have I seen it? Yeah, of course I've seen it. Oh, okay. That's why it's one of my favorites. Oh, well, I don't know. It's his last action movie ever. Not true. I always thought it was. When I heard this was coming out, I was like, this can't be the last Arnold movie he's ever. He's not a good drama guy. Yeah, he's got to keep doing action. Exactly. He can't just stop doing action. Action's right in his wheelhouse. But I love the um, the premise of this movie. And I think you'll get a kick out of it, too. Okay. Uh, Arnold's in it. And uh, also, um, what's his name? He plays Tywin Lannister. Charles Dance. Okay. Uh, plays an amazing bad guy in this. So it's going to be a fun ride. I can't wait. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to the movie now. <laughs> but first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us yeah. for last action. Do Yo. it. And click on our Patreon link down below if you want early access, full link commentary, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. The link's down below. Do it. Click it now. <laughs> Let's watch The Last Action Hero with me, Arnold. Here we go. That was good. <laughs> Well done, sir. You been practicing? Yeah, I just every shower. I just, <laughs> I'm in the shower, I'm Arnold. <laughs> ah, 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 it's too hot. Who flushed the toilet? Ah, why? Why did you flush the toilet? I'm in the shower. Yeah. See, it does like, burn, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Ty, in the shower all the time. Practicing, my Arnold. So intense. The Ripper? That's what I heard. Well, that's an intense gun. He almost got his ass shot. Oh, on the top of an elementary school? That's cold. Snakeskin boots. Oh, yeah. Why are you yelling so loud? Now you go in there, and it's your badge! Jack, I know it's <laughs> made out of the badge. Tina! This is the lieutenant governor! Later, here's what I call. <laughs> the governor gets you, call me. <laughs> the governor gets you, call me. You want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. Did you get his acres joke? Here's a couple of acres, and he kicked him in the nuts. Why are nuts acres? Because they ache. Jack, what kept you? Dad. Oh shit. As you heard, you ain't through. Hurt, Jack? You say hurt? What do you know about hurt, Jack? You put me in a cage for ten years. It's one ugly dude. Yeah. All right, I'm unarmed, so let the boy go. Just one gun, Jack? You gotta be kidding. Oh, jeez. Is that all, Sport? Yeah, that about does it. <laughs> I think that's all of them. I guess. Oh, unless, uh... You consider this a weapon? It's a live grenade. I mean, I'm very flattered, Jack, but I doubt it. Andy, pick up the grenade. 
Is it live? That was almost a 3D movie. Yeah, it was. Nick! This place is a bit run down, eh? Uh. The climax is on the fridge. Oh. Uh. 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 I missed the end of the movie. The new Jack Slater opens this weekend at the Odyssey. Mike, I didn't know that. To kill the second cousin. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I could arrange for you to gain admittance. That is, you know, that sort of thing. See, before it opens? Yeah. Who do I have to kill? All you have to do is to get to school. You know, if you hurry, you're only going to be four hours late. <laughs> Meredith Caprice. Which Jack Slater film is your favorite? This one. Oh. He needs to make more Jack Slater films, in my opinion. Shakespeare's Hamlet couldn't be more exciting. And though it may seem that he is incapable of taking any action, he is, in fact, one of the first action heroes. That's why I love Hamlet. And then you love Arnold because he's the last. Yeah. Stay thy hand, fair prince. Who said I'm fair? <laughs> to be or not to be. Not to be. Now that's the Hamlet adaptation I want. Totally. The whole morning. It wasn't. This kid just loves TV. And that crazy old guy's an accessory. Nick's not crazy. Oh, damn it! Danny! <laughs> oh, cut again. Let me hear the P word on that. Promise. Alright. Skipping school to go to the movies. Lock the top lock the minute I close the door. I mean, if he wants to be a director. Yeah, he could just go to Hollywood now. He's a night owl. Rough neighborhood. What is it with you? You got junk, no jewelry, no VCR, a shit TV that'll get me 20 bucks. Look where they're living. Remember now, your mom says you to go straight home. Where'd the guy get handcuffs? father he, he was bookkeeper here and he got me my first job usher we still at woodville house then i worked myself up to projectionist it's not much but still showbiz <laughs> see when i was about your age harry houdini played this theater and my pop took me backstage to see him after the show and he said to me he whispered he said this is a magic ticket it's a passport to another world now it's yours. And now it's yours. Think you really met Houdini? Please retain your stub, sir. It seems like too special of a ticket to rip in half. Yeah. It's a magic ticket. Jack Slater 4. I would never insult you, Mr. Fibaldi. When you lie! That's an insult. I know you Jack Slater's favorite second cousin in the whole world. Who's your favorite second cousin? I have to think about it. <laughs> Meet Mr. Benedict. The genuine... Creepy. What I'm saying is, Mr. Benedict can take you out as easy as cake. Pie, you Sicilian schmuck. 
He likes to bake pies, not cakes. Right. His crusts are so buttery. Tony Vivaldi is number one. You are gonna be. Nobody messes with Slater's favorite segment cousin. What's up, guys? Quiet. This is a drug bust. Drug bust? You must be choking. My second cousin Frank lives in there. The only drugs you'll find in there are aspirin. My second cousin Frank. Frank! Just try the doorknob. <laughs> Tony Vivaldi and the Torelli mob are joining forces. I'm out of here. Frank. <laughs> I'm out of here. He held on just long enough. Oh no, it's a bomb. It's a bomb! Oof, duh. How'd they time that? He's okay. Banner wound. Both cops dead. Both cops dead. Two days to return. Oh no. No, I want popcorn. <laughs> Car chase with dynamite? Yeah, different. Um, yep. He has become part of the movie now. Who the hell are you? Don't shoot me. I'm Danny Madigan. I'm a kid. <laughs> He's in the movie. Jeez. Way too many full gas tanks. You're trying to win no hands. I think it's easy to practice a lot and never ever do it in heavy traffic. <laughs> you ever drive with no hands? Yeah, but usually I'm still looking at the road. Oh. Maybe that's your mistake. Could be. This is really happening. Chuck it out. Not cap. Uh-oh. <laughs> Put it out with his fingers. Oh, jeez. Hold on. <laughs> Arnold's a pro at driving up the L.A. River, so. Yeah. Action movie physics. Gotta love it. Totally. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you're gonna live to enjoy all the glorious <laughs> fruits life has to offer. Acne, shaving, premature ejaculation, and your first divorce. I've never experienced any of that. <laughs> this is a movie set. That's how the scenery changed, right? <laughs> you're gonna play chicken, aren't you? Just like Jack Slater. Pass the seatbelt, please. Never play chicken with Slater. <laughs> Is that supposed to be part of this movie? Continue 
wasn't faking. How do you get out of the movie? Why would you want to? Why would you want to be in a movie? Valet parking at the police station. Well, it's L.A., you know. Well, Sharon Stone. You don't think something strange is going on between the... And this is top secret. I know the Vivaldi mob is joining forces with the Torellis. Damn it, Jack, how do you do that? Well, I'm not parked behind the desk all day, eating those donuts. Those are government donuts, my friend. It's not easy work. I gotta call DC. Government donuts? Join my eggs off for the plane you crash. He's always yelling. Nice. Okay, he's the lieutenant. Join me. You touch me again, furball, and I'll kill you. I can prove this is a movie. Who the hell are you, kid? Look out there, this is cartoon cat. <laughs> he's supposed to be back on duty. He was only suspended for a month. No, shut up. <laughs> After your wife left you for the circus mission, and Jack told everyone he drove her to New England to the diphtheria clinic. And you promised me you wouldn't dare. I didn't. Well, then how did he know? Jack Slater won. What's winning got to do with this? <laughs> no, the very first Jack Slater. You told your dad. I didn't tell anyone. I don't even know this kid. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know they're in a movie. How do you know Frank mentioned Vivaldi? I know a lot about what's going on. Now, if you would just listen All right, to son. I got the perfect listener for you. Meet your new partner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack Slater's new partner. Jack and I will be working together for the duration of the film. <laughs> Clever. Now, the only reason why I'm not roaring with laughter is because someone killed my favorite second cousin. That's a big, big mistake. That is what you were going to say, right? Gee, how would I know that? No one likes a smart ass. OK, then shoot me. That's right. Take your gun, point it at my head, and pull the trigger. Come on, do it! I double dare you. Please don't. All right. I'll give you ten minutes to prove it. Then I shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are the Schwarzenegger films? Foreign films are in the back. No, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, blockbuster. The good old days. No. <laughs> What's not possible? He's fantastic. This is his best performance ever. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one. What about this girl right here? She is way too attractive to be working at a video store. I agree with you. <laughs> I think she should be working with us. On the cover, of course. <laughs> There are no unattractive women here. I mean, where are the ordinary, everyday women? They don't exist because this is a movie. No, this is California. There's got to be some real woofers in California, too. Yeah. I'll take you to the house where your cousin Frank was tortured. Whoa. This ticket is magic, and it really works. Any second, we're going to drive right into a theater. Maybe I need to warm it up first. Of course. My decoder ring is to warm up to all the time. <laughs> the bad guys are in there. <laughs> you know something? You just revolutionized the entire history of police training. All the courses that I've taken in surveillance, hostage negotiation, in criminal psychology. I mean, all I had to do is just drive around the neighborhood and point my finger at the house and say, the bad guys are in there. <laughs> You think you're funny, don't you? I know I am. I'm the famous comedian, Arnold Braunschweiger. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> Gesundheit. May I help you? Yes. Could I speak to the drug dealer of the house, please? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'll be back. Ha! You did not gonna say that, did you? That's what you always say. I do. <laughs> Everybody keeps waiting for you to work it in. It's kind of like your calling card. 
I understand you're interested in drug dealers. Yes. Jack, that's him, the henchman with the glass eye. Are you a henchman? No, I only go as far as lucky. <laughs> yeah, take off your sunglasses. Who's asking? The Tin Man. Well, Tin Man, suppose you hit the bricks. Uh -oh. Well hey How exactly are you gonna snap your fingers after rip off both of your thumbs? <laughs> Have a nice day. If he had one of the bullseye when he was with his second cousin, he hates his boss. He calls him a Sicilian schmuck. He has multiple glass eyes. He's such a good driver. <laughs> Jack, that guy's gotta be guilty of something. Yeah, he's guilty of acting like an asshole. If I arrest him, I have to arrest half of Congress. Why didn't we park back there? Probably way more than half of Congress. <laughs> Meredith? I hope you mean Whitney. Sorry, Whitney. You're not skeezy, are you? Daddy! Oh my God! Daddy! But it's old evidence. Counterfeit case. Looks real, doesn't it? Turns funny colors when you burn it. By using it for alimony. Using it for alimony. <laughs> We didn't watch the end of that movie. Did Jack lose his son? It seems like it. I don't think this is how the movie's supposed to go. He altered the course of the reality. If you harm a hair on her head, stop! He was saying he's got a new eye. Snake eye. Cat eye? If it was a snake eye, he'd be blinking this way, right? Yeah. There's some money in the desk. Take it and leave me and Meredith, Whitney, alone. You were trying to sucker me with marked bills, weren't you? Burn it. He's too smart just to be a henchman. She's <laughs> pretending she's still getting beat up. Mm -hmm. Lose the guns or I redecorate in brain matter gray. Got it? Yes. <laughs> Boss? <laughs> He's missing every shot. Not the stereo system. How many shells are in that gun? Yowza. I thought he had his daughter. Got to catch the red eye. <laughs> Beautiful. You know Arnold does all his own stunts too. Of course. I'm in the mood and I'm missing the best action. <laughs>
chicken it is. <laughs> On a bike? I'm pretty sure I maybe had that exact bike. With no basket, though. Or frills. It's a movie. I'm a good guy. This has got to work. Is it gonna work? I'm a comedy sidekick. It's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Yowza. At least he figured out his roll right before he yeah. wrecked himself. Benedict has got the ticket. That's too bad. I wanted it for my collection. <laughs> Look at that barrel. Did you see the barrel on that gun? He just wears those for fun. Maybe he has a regular one in right now. Oh no. Traveling through another dimension. Yeah, Bendix way too smart. Say this. Grow up. Just say this one word. Is this is another one of your movie proofs. Maybe. It's a bad word. You can't possibly say it because this movie is PG-13. <laughs> I saw his license plate. Good for you. You mean the guy with the glass eye? No. When he was running for the car, it was missing. Oh. Yes. Don't touch! Well, see if this is clear enough. Give me your badge. And this time, you won't get it back. I <laughs> uh, hate that part of the movie. Well, Shalegi, your part is up with the black and white digitalization of Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> Did you see Humphrey Bogart? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez, how'd you know there was a guy in there? There's always a guy in there. Must be a fortune closet. Door. <laughs> it is a closet. <laughs> I never started out to be anything but a decent cop. But I kept getting involved in these crazy adventures. But the craziest part is, I kept surviving. Jack, <laughs> these are the sequels. They gotta get harder. Yep. Got up the stakes. That's true. Danny, do you think I would marry someone so stupid that doesn't know the real voice from a taped one? I pay a cashier at the drugstore to call me every so often at the station so the guys think I have a private life. Oh. That guy Vivaldi. I heard him say something was gonna happen at a funeral. Now this little the fart is gonna have one. Maybe we should look into that. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Jack, it's a funeral for a guy named Fart. How fart <laughs> funeral? For town. That's what all this has been about. Vivaldi's gonna blow up that funeral. No, no. It won't just be a bomb. I mean, we've already had a dozen explosions in this movie. Oh, Danny, don't stop that. <laughs> Three canisters of Nerf guys were stolen from military trucks the night before last. They could have stuffed those inside him. And you know what that means, don't you? Uh-huh. The other father is gonna pass gas one more time. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great partner. Has all this backup information. Yeah. Nobody else would know. Great insights. Oh, I am here. I don't want to be no fourth wheel. Nonsense, I can be no. You want to be fifth wheel. Or third wheel. Pulled his finger. Clever. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect spot to park. Wait a minute! What if Stan and the cars will get me killed? There's a gun in the glove compartment. 
<laughs> 18 guns. The Fod is a bomb. They're gonna take out the Horturelli mob. We gotta stop it. That explains the break in at the mortuary. Geez, that's brilliant. Come on, we'll use the service entrance and back. We're looking for Chan. Yeah, this gets bad news. I didn't want it to go down this way. Danny told me not to trust you. Hmm. He said you killed Mo Zard. Mo who? Zard. <laughs> Mo Zard. <laughs> you son of a ass. Thanks for the fingerprints, kid. You're about to murder Jack Slater. Here. Chain yourself with that pipe. These drug guys, they got more money than the U.S. government. So you cut a deal with a Sicilian scumbag like Vivaldi. Right you are. Not his first time being handcuffed. I'll be rich, Jack. You'll be dead, but... Freeze! Ah! Close me the cuffs. Man, are you an idiot? You made the classic movie mistake. Don't explain so much. <laughs> You're no genius yourself, kid. The fart goes off in seven minutes. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I'd love to stay and watch the fun, but uh, I have to go and establish my alibi. <laughs> Arrivederci. So I can for the whole funeral. No more words. Whiskers, where the hell have you been? Sorry, Jack. Furball problem. <laughs> it's Danny DeVito. <laughs> I want it on top of the roof in two minutes. Go. Wait, how do I get him to do that? Just figure it out. This will be fun. Hey. He's undercover because he had that has that hat on. Yeah, no one will recognize him now. You hear this? Help me! Get me out of here! My God, this man's not dead! <laughs> Wait, this man is a doctor. I'm a doctor. You a doctor? Yes. Uh, Check his chin. <laughs> the patient. Look, at the elephant. Uh oh. Don't shoot. <laughs> What's his plan now? Everyone's packing at the mob funeral. Oh, shit. Helps me with the star of the movie. It's a no fly zone, fella. Oh no. Problem is a ner he's a nerve gas bomb. How long till he goes off? Not long. Hey. Get out of there! Looks like he can swim in the tar pit. Please don't explode. Good work, tar pit. Silent but deadly. 
Glad nobody got to smell that one. There she is. Drives like her dad. <laughs> I heard you were here. I thought you could use some clothes. Oh, thanks, honey. Wait a minute. No one finds this a little convenient? Hey, kid. You always said this is a movie, didn't you? <laughs> is he starting to believe him? No. First you're my friend. Now you turn it. 360 on me. <laughs> 180. If I did a 360, I'd go completely around and end up back where I started. <laughs> what? Trust me. Oh, I bet he feels better now. Parallel worlds. I can move through parallel worlds. In and out. In, steal whatever I want. And out again. Impossible to catch. If God was a villain, he'd be me. Uh-oh. He's broken the fourth wall. Is that a big mistake? That means he knows he can go through it. That was for blowing up my second cousin Frank's house. And this is for blowing up my ex-wife's house. <laughs> <laughs> Slap on the wrist. This is for my daughter's black eye. Oh no. Usually when I do that, it leaves a whore. <laughs> Jack, he's got the ticket. It's the key to everything. It's magic. See? That's my world. He's gone over to my world. The door must still be open. Come on. Get going before the door closes. Worried that you're right. But if I go, how do I get back? You can't go through life nitpicking every little thing. Now come on! He just caught Arnold Schwarzenegger a uh, pussy? Yeah. There's no time, come on! Your mom's gonna be pissed at you. It's only been an hour. <laughs> Not one word. <laughs> Not one word. Cars don't blow up in real life. My hand. It really hurts. Things work different here. You can't smash a car a window with your bare hand and not have it hurt. Thanks for sharing. You couldn't have told me this earlier. <laughs> Don't play. Please listen to me. It won't work. You hear me? Don't play chicken with that that car. This isn't the movies anymore, Jack. Here you have to reload guns. Go, Danny. Car crashes will kill you. That's a that's a beast of a car that it. Yeah. He's r driving right towards. <laughs> Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. You're lucky you're still alive, you dumb idiot! Hey, 89 Mercury Sable. Standard driver size airbag, check a cap, no airbag. Who is that? <laughs> check, will you? Look, dead! They always look dead, like a diehard. The guy's hanging there by his neck, and at the end of the movie, he comes back. All right, make sure to cover me. I think he's got a wind. Driver wire. dead. Passenger, maybe not. Maybe he used the ticket. Passenger got out before the crash. What is this place? Where am I now? Uh oh. Shell shock. You got a place I can sit down. Too much for his brain. Okay. Did you see what happened? No, I slept the sleep of the dead sitting here. <laughs> the ticket works? this time and I never used it because I, I, I was too frightened. I, uh, 
forgive me for, for going on like that, sir. I'm, I'm a great admirer of your work, too. This, this is a wonderful moment for me, Mr. Slater. I've never met a fictional character before. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't find it so new and exciting to discover that my whole life has been a damn movie. Yeah. You know, there's lots worse things than movies. There's politicians and wars and forest fires and, and famine plague politicians you already mentioned one I, I know i did they're twice as bad as anything else maybe you should run for governor then me he <laughs> definitely uh, hello mrs madigan arnold braunschweiger <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know how to say his name Oh, welcome to the real world, bad guy. <laughs> nah, nah, yo, get shoes. Take his shoes, man. Take his shoes? You're a little worried now? Yeah, even the movie villain's like, why would you shoot a guy for his shoes? <laughs> sure, what can I do for you? Well... Um, it's even worse. I've just shot somebody. I did it on purpose. I said I have murdered a man and I want to confess. Hey, shut up down there. That's the sad part. It's not like the movies. Police response time. Nobody cares. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good to Good see you. What kind of eggs do you want? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Mom, you turned him into a wimp. Oh, I think not. Did his mom? What? Oh. Maybe she took advantage of Jack. Wouldn't you? <laughs> well, no, I would. Would you? <laughs> What's that? Mozart. Mozart. The guy practice killed? That's right, Jack. You like classical music? I think I will. Wow. <laughs> He's enjoying the real world. The bad guy's like, this is weird. No, I think the bad guy's enjoying himself, too. He's yeah. like, I can kill whoever I want and nobody cares. Yeah. That is ticket of yours. It worked in one movie. Does that mean that Benedict could use it again? You mean on other movies? Why would he want to do that? He'd want to go straight to the Godfather. Or... <laughs> the possibilities are limited. Oh, Dracula. But if you do this right, the world is your oyster. Trust me. Um, the Ripper. And you'll never have to go back to this film again. Now, I know you've never heard of this man, but his actual name, believe it or not, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, boy. So is this plan to kill Arnold so there's no more Jack Slater movies? Mm-hmm. You believed him in the movies. Why not now? Because here, you're just... Some guy. Those movies where they say, make my day, or I'm your worst nightmare. Well, listen to this one. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Ah, you didn't know I'm going to say that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Rubber baby bump bumpy. I can't even say it. Buggy bumpers. Jack, he has been going to the movies. Kids, that ain't the half of it. We're just moments away from the world premiere of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Jack Slater 4. Oh no! The New York premiere. Here they are, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his lovely wife Maria Schreiber. Good to see you. You a big time fan of Jack Slater? I've enjoyed it. It was just beautiful. I just loved it. 
Stevie Wonder? No, Little Richard. Uh, that's what I meant. Stevie Wonder's blind. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> this movie, this movie, we only killed forty-eight people, and compared to the last one, where we kill one hundred and nineteen. And I want to make sure that the action fans understand we make up for it with a good story, a lot of emotions, depth, dimensions. <laughs> Is he going soft? He wants to kill less people per movie now? Question, okay. Wow, we See look if we can at, get him over your head. Hey, a method villain. Rip, rip, come here. What Rip brings you here tonight? I, uh, I thought I might kill someone. <laughs> Maybe just start with your designer. <laughs> oh. uh, Pete, Pete, it's okay. It's with me. I'm his agent with Tom. Jesus Christ, Tom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's Tom Noonan, of course, the actor who played the Ripper, who Wait. placed the Ripper. What? <laughs> what the agent thinks it's the real him. I don't really want to hear it. I'm not really a big fan of Arnold's, uh... <laughs> she is, you know. <laughs> Arnold really turns Wait. around, and I just want to be there when it happens. That's, all <laughs> <laughs> That's why we watch these movies. Oh, jeez. The button was a good idea. Just get me. Hey, Mark. Yeah, I need a box. I need a box. <laughs> Chevy Chase. They didn't even give Ch Chevy a, a line. Where? Where am I sitting? Um, there's two balconies. I believe you're in the uh, upper, lower balcony. Okay. You stay yeah, here, I okay? I and be careful. Somebody should be checking that other balcony. Definitely. <laughs> oh. Look, it deal's done, right? What? Slayer Pod soundtrack. <laughs> There's a lot of stars in this for cameos. Yeah, too many. Too many action heroes. They could take out all of them at one time yeah. right now. Everybody down! <laughs> Arnold tackled him. Uh oh. I don't really like you, right? You brought me nothing but pain. Jack! Ooh. He went to the roof. Hey, Jack! What can't you? Oh, yikes. Why don't we just skip to the end? Where did he just His line. The hell you will. Now the premiere is canceled because all the power went out. Right. You. Now get my hand. Let's go. Let's go for it I... now. Come on, Danny. Yes. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Hot damn. Ow. This hero stuff is its limits. <laughs> so much harder than it used to be. I need a hospital. I think my shoulder is out of the socket. <laughs> Gentlemen, since you're about to die anyway, I may as well tell you the entire plot. Dracula? I can get King Kong. Ooh. Of a surprise party for that old Hitler. Hannibal Lecter can do the catering. Ooh. I shall miss you, Jack. You have to reload in real life. You forgot to reload the damn gun. No, Jack. I just left one chamber empty. CG 
Jack. Bad guys can win. He's gonna kill Jack Slater? No sequel for you. The ticket! Death's coming out of the movie, and Jack's gonna die. Don't you understand? We gotta get him back to the movies! They don't understand. I said turn around! <laughs> Just right! They always run away! Danny, do you know how to drive? Sure, I watched you, didn't I? <laughs> Sir Ian McKellen. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a good bad guy to be out of the movies. Hurry! Slater's dying! You got the ticket? No, but it's gonna work anyway. It's gotta! The other half the ticket's in the box, isn't it? Oh no. I was only curious. He's not on any of my lists, though you are, Daniel. No. Oh, no. You die a grandfather. That's good news. Oh, he's just curious. If I were you, I might be looking for the other half of the ticket. Death is kind of all-knowing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes! Jack! I know. And the grosses go down. <laughs> I saw that silly thing away. Holy cow! Start the movie! Oh, it's starting by itself. You fired him. But I need you to be out there to believe in me. Doctor, doctor, hey, doctor. I need you to take care of your mother for me. Because we have a whole life ahead of you. And pimples and premature ejaculation, I heard. <laughs> what? It's just. Doors closing. What is this? Some kind of a joke? I wouldn't even call us a flesh wound. Come on, here, let's get him all that. Die in the movie of the hero. It's working again. You know the cost of that dough is coming right out of your meager but undeserved paycheck. Stop shouting! I'm not deaf. <laughs> you had the comic relief. Yes. And you know what else? I am the hero. So shut up! <laughs> You got to be a magician after all, Nick. Hmm. It really does work. Ah, the ticket's yours, Danny. And you know something? I think the magic was yours, too. He's too afraid. Yeah. He was making movies out of his regular life anyways. All right. All right, last action hero. That was a fun one. Are we worried that death is still walking around, though? I am a little concerned myself, but I guess if he is truly death, he's only taking people in their time. Yeah, it's their time. Yeah. yeah. There's just a physical manifestation of him now. Right. I like how he's like, you're not on my list because you're fiction. Yeah. You're not a real person. Yeah, there you go. Last action hero. What do you think? So meta. So meta. Yeah. Lots of little cameos here and there. Yeah. Did you notice Robert Patrick when they were walking to the police uh, station too? I don't know who Robert T Patrick T1000 is. T one thousand from Terminator Two. Yeah, you missed him. Pretty sure he was there. I was pointing out Sharon Stone first though. But yeah, lots of uh, 
meta jokes, lots of little cameos. Yeah. I, there's probably a bunch more that they had to cut out oh, from I'm the premiere. I'm sure Like, you don't funny. have, like, Chevy Chase show up and then just get run into him. you got to have, like, a funny line. They probably just cut a bunch of stuff. Did you just call him Chevy? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, of course, two Arnolds. Yeah. Got to love when there's two Arnolds in a movie. Nothing better. Yeah. I thought... The only thing I don't like is I feel like Benedict's death was kind of quick. Yeah, wasn't good enough. Yeah, it wasn't quite a cinematic death. Yeah, could have been better. Even though they shot him in the eye, he blew up. But right. It could have been better. Could have been better. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, Danny DeVito saving yeah. saving Arnold as a cat. As the cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice little uh, cameo for him yeah, there. Yeah, His, his twin brother yeah. showing up as an animated cat. Love it. So Who'd sweet. So, I like you know, it's kind of like two movies in one because you have him getting sucked into the movie and that's kind of like one movie. And then once they leave the movie, it's a whole another yeah. plot line that they got to go, go through. So Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. They need to make some Jack Slater movies, though. They, great character. I agree. Mm-hmm. Right? I want to see those movies. Me too. But, you think, hear that, Hollywood? Bring us Jack Slater. It's a little late for that. Maybe with AI, we can get Jack Slater movies. Once AI gets good enough, hmm. we could be like, hey, make the movies from Last Action Hero real. Let's not encourage AI to make anything. Well, it's going to get there point. someday. Not really encouraging it. Hmm. Who was your favorite bad guy? I don't know. Who was yours? The, R- the Ripper was pretty. He was creepy. Creepy. Yeah. I like how Tumden was in it, too. He was, uh, wasn't he. The Red Dragon and Manhunter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's he looks familiar from yeah. that. Yeah. So he always plays a really creepy, 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 creepy good, person. Guy, so I liked how he shows up after the Ripper walks through the red carpet. And yeah. Everybody's like, "Wait a second, we just saw you." So good stuff. Very good. Well, anything else on your mind after the last action hero? What do you guys think about this one? Who's who is the best of the bad guys? Yeah. What's your favorite part of The Last Action Hero? I also like how they had Stallone as the star of Terminator 2. I like Does that, that mean Stallone too. is in that world, in Slater's world, is the star of all the Arnold movies? Yeah, absolutely. So, like, he's he's the Terminator. I just wonder who's he's... the star of Rambo in that world. Oh, that's a good question. Right? So you think Stallone's like Conan? Right. And my... And somebody took the place of Rocky Predator. and Rambo and... <laughs> so... Who's in all the Stallone movies? If Stallone did all the Arnold movies, that's what I'm movies. wondering. Who do you think it is? Yeah, who, <laughs> who plays all the Stallone movies in Slater's world? Yeah, let us know in the comments. What's your guess? Thanks for hanging out with us. Come back next week for another movie. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. One comment or access to both subs. Pick your one next. Thanks down there. Check it out. Until next time, I'll be back. See ya.